Think about this. The angry mind sees fate in apocalyptic terms. He traffics in the birth and death of whole worlds, whole political systems, whole systems of human values. He is always manning the barricades. He does not see social conflict as something to be mediated and compromised, since what is at stake is always a conflict between absolute good and absolute evil. What is necessary is not compromise, but the will to fight to the finish. Since the enemy, according to the angry mind, is totally evil and totally unappeasable, he must be eliminated. This demand for total triumph leads to the formulation of hopelessly unrealistic goals, and since these goals are not even remotely attainable, failure constantly threatens the angry mind with a sense of frustration. Even partial success leaves him with a feeling of powerlessness. And this, in turn, only strengthens his awareness of the vast and terrifying quality of the enemy he has invented. This is the angry mind.